Starting a new sketchbook can be super daunting. After finishing my most recent sketchbook, check out the sketchbook tour, <laughs> I decided to start two new sketchbooks at the same time, which might be a little bit wild of me to do, but I was super curious to try this Royal Talents art creation sketchbook. I've seen it around on YouTube, and I love that they came in a bunch of different colors. I had a hard time choosing which one I wanted, but I figured I'd try this one at a smaller size, and then if I like it, I will get a different color and a bigger size after I'm done with this one. But I still wanted to use my old reliable Strathmore mixed media sketchbook that I've been using for the past couple of sketchbooks that I have. So I decided why not both? So with this video, I hope to give you a little bit of encouragement and courage to try that new sketchbook with a couple of tips that have helped me along the way. My first tip for you would be to consider what you want to get out of this sketchbook. Everybody uses their sketchbook in different ways. I was having a hard time figuring out how I wanted to use the Royal Talons Art Creation sketchbook because I'm not sure what mediums work the best with it. So I decided the purpose of this sketchbook is going to be to experiment. So it's okay if some pages aren't perfect, if a medium that I try doesn't work out, because I'm just exploring this, seeing if I even like this sketchbook, and figuring things out along the way. Try to think about what you want this sketchbook to be for. What are your goals? It doesn't have to be a super grand plan. It can just be something casual like, hey, I just want to make a habit to draw more often, or I want to draw more finished pieces, or I want to draw less finished pieces and more fun casual drawings. Whatever your reasons are, think about them. Maybe you want to write them down on the first page and that can alleviate that first page stress or you can just kind of title the first page and date it and move on. You can skip the first page. You can create a beautiful masterpiece on the first page. Tip number two is to draw thumbnail sketches for either your first page or the first few pages. Jot some ideas down about what subjects you want to draw and then draw little loose representations of the composition and the items that you want to draw in either a separate sketchbook on computer paper, whatever you want to do. I did that with my Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook. I had a million ideas running through my head about what I wanted to draw and I couldn't figure out what I actually wanted to do. So drawing out those little sketches helped me have a little bit more confidence in what I wanted to put down on the page. Now, because I did all those sketches, I have a few ideas for a couple of the other spreads. And if I ever get stuck for ideas, I can look at those sketches that I made and choose one of those for the next few pages. So tip number three would be to use a medium that you know you enjoy using or to use a new medium that you're excited to use. Hopefully the idea of using these art supplies takes your mind off of the pressure of starting the sketchbook and you'll be more focused on how exciting it will be to use the art supplies. Like for example, as you can see I'm using alcohol markers. I haven't used my alcohol markers in a long time. It's so bad that some of them are dried out. So I was excited to dive back into these again and do it in this new sketchbook, see how the alcohol markers react to the paper. And I really enjoyed it. I actually ended up drawing a bunch of stuff with alcohol markers. So it revived my excitement for the medium. So you will definitely be seeing more videos with that. And similarly, my fourth tip kind of relates to, to my previous one, and a lot of people bring this up in these kinds of videos, but I think it, it's really helpful, and that is to draw the things that you're passionate about drawing. I personally absolutely love drawing portraits of girls, and I, that's what I mainly do, so I decided to do that for my first sketchbook in this video. I considered doing a painting 
and I just I haven't had a lot of luck with paintings lately so I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself in the first sketchbook but in my second sketchbook I knew that I want to practice paintings in that one so I did do a painting for that one I'm not in love with the painting that I've done but that kind of goes back to the purpose of that sketchbook and that's to try out different mediums, try painting, get better at painting. So by the time I'm done with my sketchbook, hopefully you will see an improvement in my painting skills. This time around I did decide to paint and draw on the first pages of both of these sketchbooks. I usually do skip it, but I was feeling a little brave. So it doesn't matter what you decide to do in that regard. If you want to switch it up and try something different than the last thing that you did, go for it. Definitely encourage you to do that unless it prevents you from starting because you're too nervous about it. So do what do what's best for you in the moment, honestly. And that's the most important thing. These sketchbooks are for us to express ourselves creatively, to come up with ideas. So rip off that band-aid, put pen to paper, and get that sketchbook started. As soon as I was finished drawing, I, I felt a lot more freedom to continue drawing and I tried more alcohol marker stuff and I seriously have maybe four or five new spreads in my sketchbook and it's only been three days and for me, it usually takes me longer to continue stuff like that but I was inspired and I've been inspired ever since. I will say I haven't done anything in the other sketchbook. I was a lot less inspired after doing the first page of that one. <laughs> but like I said, I have those thumbnail sketches and I'm planning on getting those done. I just, painting takes a lot more mental energy out of me than alcohol markers. So that's why I haven't been really doing anything in that one since some of the other spreads I had in mind included doing painting. Even though my painting didn't come out like the masterpiece that I planned in my head, I still had a good time doing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful in any kind of way. I just wanted to make a quick video on this subject because I was starting two new sketchbooks. I possibly want to do a sketchbook ideas video as well because when I was trying to think about the things I wanted to bring up in this video I had other ones that felt more general to filling out a sketchbook and not necessarily starting one so let me know if you are interested in something like that I think those tips will be a lot more fun <laughs> yeah I hope this was helpful for you and that you have a wonderful time starting your new sketchbook. I wish you the very best. Consider subscribing if you want more content. But with that being said, that's all I have for you today. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!